Hey everyone, Island Farmer here. I'm back in Florida and I figured um, I'd get my videos going again, get you guys all caught up on everything that's going on here. Um, behind me is my duck pond, which I'm gonna take the plastic out today. I'll show you guys how easy that is to do so you can get under it and um, you know if you need to fix the pipes or whatever. In my case, I put wood supports under the plastic. I did that so the when the dirt settles the pond wouldn't like sink in really far i think the dirt's settled now and the wood supports that are under it are actually kind of bulging the bottom of the plastic pond and i don't want it to like damage it or bust a hole or crack it or anything so i'm gonna um take this black plastic pond out and uh probably rip out the wood under it and then just put it right back in there before i uh drain the duck pond I wanted to uh, plant a few last seeds. I planted the whole garden yesterday, um, but I didn't have any uh, snow peas, so I went to the store and got some. I want to finish this up before I drain the water out and get it all wet in here. So, plant these real quick. Trusty bamboo. I got the peas planted along here and um, I've had a visitor coming under the fence right here. Might be kind of hard to see. That's why it's good to check on your garden every day, check on your stuff every day. You can see he was uh, gnawing at the wood and he dug under there. The ducks just decided to get in the pond. I'm about to drain it, so yeah, hop on out. There you go. So while the duck pond's draining, I'm gonna go work on some other stuff, and then we'll pull this black plastic pond out and take a look under it. I got something exciting from uh, Rockwich Gardens this morning. Oh, why we're here? Loquat. Loquat. There's flowers. Exciting. But this is what I'm going to tackle right now. It's a black raspberry. Looks like the chickens came to join me. This black netting has been working pretty good, only I'm going to make it a little bit better. So it's not just like flapping around in the wind, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it stretch tight. So it should work quite a bit better after I'm done today. So what I'm doing here is uh, the chickens got in here and potholed everything. So I'm just tilling the soil a little bit and re-leveling all the dirt going to uh, dig up these elephant ears. So here, I have a blackberry and a tayberry, and then the two mulberry trees. I'm gonna plant this raspberry right here, between the blackberry and tayberry. So, a hole about that big. Ooh, got some free worms in that one. Dang. Right 
here. All right, so we got the raspberry planted. Go check on the duck pond here. Looks like the water stopped draining. Yep. Duck pond's empty. All right, it might be hard to see, but this thing right here is actually a bulge from that wooden support I put under here. And there's one over here too. I don't want it to, uh, you know, mess up the this uh, black plastic pond because this was 300 bucks. Um, probably not going to show up on this side because it's sunny and shady. So I actually got a tiny crack right there. So I'm going to take this pond out and rip that wood up and then set the pond back in here. So in order to do that, I need to take this uh, white plastic piece off. So this just fits into another pipe that comes up at the bottom. After you get this out, you're pretty much done. So this is uh, the wood that was underneath it. So I'm left with these wooden stakes here, which I can pound them in a little bit more. Ducks are like, I don't understand what's happening.
here, you want to line it up with that pipe. It's just a little bit off. You can probably see it's up out the ground quite a bit because um, it got disturbed under there. But once I start filling it with water, I think it's up almost like 2,200 pounds of water in there. It's going to um, settle quite All my yard trimmings and just plants I might decide I don't want anymore or something. Um, weeds from the yard, everything goes in here. Kitchen scraps. This is the best compost bin you'll ever have in your life. It is right inside your chicken coop. Pond is still filling up. Takes a little bit. So we'll go work on some more stuff. So I've put this netting around the tops of these tiki's and it's just been hanging down. But the chickens are finding ways to get through there. Like when it flaps a little bit like this. Now just do this the whole way around. Very nice. All right, so the duck pond's getting pretty full there. I'm gonna top it off all the way to the top and put as much weight in it as possible. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video, bringing you guys up to speed on what's going on here. And um, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to uh, stay really up to date, you can hit the bell, make sure it's turned on, and it'll send you a notification every time I upload a video which hopefully will be a lot more often now that I'm back in civilization where there's internet and all the fun stuff make all this magic happen um, now that the ponds full, I can turn the hose off and uh, turn the misters on and get everything misted down so it doesn't die from this heat thanks for watching Ha <laughs> ha